Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Olivia Chevalier and I'm a freelance artist living in the south of England. In this channel I like to talk about all things art, illustration and creativity. My goal is to help you guys figure out how to unlock your creative passions and learn a little bit from my experiences along the way. Today I'm going to be talking about sealing your gouache paintings with wax. So if any of you guys have ever used gouache before, it's quite a water-based paint. It's kind of like a weird middle ground between watercolour and acrylic. Uh, you can get really amazing texture build-ups and thick layers of paint, um, but you can also use a lot of water and you can kind of create a similar wash effect that you can with watercolours. The only issue with gouache is once you've finished painting, there's really nothing to stop a little bit of water getting on it and kind of reactivating all of the paint, which would mess up all of the hard work that you put into the painting. So I've been doing a little bit of research into what the best method is to seal gouache and a few people suggested to me to use varnish or sprays. However, I didn't really feel like they were capturing the texture and the finish of the gouache the way that I like it. If you guys are anything like me, I really, really love the way that gouache looks when it's finished. It's got a very matte or maybe slightly satin kind of texture to it and it's very graphical and illustrative. So when I seal my gouache paintings, I don't really want them to start looking like oil paints or acrylics with a very shiny finish. So the best solution that I found is actually this Dorland's Wax Medium, which I bought from Jackson's. I will have a link below. So it comes in a pot that looks like this. Before we go ahead and try this on a real painting, I thought it would be best to try it out on a few test washes first. As you can see, I've done a few different varieties of washes here. I've done a kind of sky wash with like a thick layer of white paint over the top. This is really quite a thick layer of paint, so I'm quite curious to see how this is gonna do on that. Um, hopefully it doesn't smudge it everywhere, but we will see. Um, I've also done a few thick layers of like layering up different colours of gouache. I also did a few light basic washes that are more watercolory and you're going from a very thick to a very thin layer of paint. For this I've used a different variety of gouache paints that I like to use my paintings often just to see if it will work on all of them. So I've used the Winsor & Newton Designers Gouache. You get about 10 tubes that look a bit like this. These are really, really great. I love using these paints. I've also used this Pabello, Pabello, however you say it, paint. Uh, it's like a white pearl and it's really, really nice for using over the top of paintings when you're adding highlight details. I really love using this white. I feel like this one's got a really nice pearl, shiny kind of effect to it. Really nice. And we've also got the Turner acrylic based gouache which also comes in a pack of 24 that I get from Amazon. I can link all of these below for you but this is also a really great pack of gouaches. It's, it's a bit more acrylic based uh, which means that you can really layer on like thick layers and it hasn't really got the shiny finish that acrylic does but it's definitely got texture quality that acrylic does so yeah also a really great paint that I've used. So let's go ahead and try it out. So for applying this all you need to use is a very simple Eye, eyeglasses, cloth, something similar to this would be ideal. Um, I've also seen that some people have used pads that you use for removing makeup, but I don't really like that that might create a little bit of a dandruffy effect, so I've gone for this microfiber cloth instead. So I think we're just going to simply just dip that in there and just get a small layer of this waxy medium. And I'm just going to apply it in vertical lines downwards. Um, the logic for that being if there was a light shined on it then at least all of the lines will be in the same direction and they won't be disrupting the, um, the brush stroke directions and kind of confusing the way the aesthetic looks. So here we go. It's really easy to apply. So that has darkened the value a slight, slight amount. It's maybe not very noticeable on camera. Now onto this layered, very thick level of paint here. I'm actually really surprised that it hasn't wiped off the white from the clouds or smudged anywhere. I'm really impressed by that. So this one's also looking really good. Wow, you can really see that um, value has changed to be just a little bit darker on the orange there. Pretty impressed with that. It hasn't seemed to change the values overly. Um, I only really noticed a colour change on this one here where the orange just seemed to go like a, a little bit deeper. Um, certainly on these ones it looks like it's also gotten a tiny bit deeper but really not very noticeable. I think if you hadn't have seen it before it was applied you probably would have no idea which is quite nice. 
So let's just wait for this to dry, we'll come back and let's try splashing some water on it. And also, as you can see from that, I've not used very much. And it's only a really, really small amount. And I think there's even, even still some still on my cloth, which I haven't really applied. But this is gonna be kind of tricky to get out of this, so I would definitely recommend not using a cloth that you're gonna use for your glasses after this. Okay, so the wax are dried now. So let's have a look and see if it's waterproof. That's pretty good. It's literally just like droplets sitting on top of the paint. So I don't know if you can see, but there are just droplets just sat on top of this page. That's pretty cool. The finish that you're getting on this is like ever, ever so slightly satin. Um, it's not, it's not as matte as it was before, but it's certainly not shiny or glossy at all. I mean, I'm shining it towards the window right now, and you're only just seeing a slight shine because it's wet as well. It's not too bad. Looking straight on though, it doesn't. It still looks really matte and very graphical, which is just what I like about the gouache. So. I guess let's try this on a piece I actually like now. Okay, so this is a painting I did back in 2020. Uh, really, really loved this painting. It was back when I first found gouache and was trying it out. I think this is the second painting I ever did with gouache. Um, so yeah, a little bit of a sentimental value on this one. And hopefully, hopefully when I apply some of this waxy medium, it's not gonna darken the values too much. And hopefully it will maintain the overall look and feel of the painting, um, you know taking one for the team here guys so let's have a look and see by the way uh, when I was putting this on in the previous section of this video I found that it was kind of difficult to hold the cloth and apply it so I've made this sort of funny <laughs> finger splint out of it so I've basically just taken a rubber band a hair elastic or whatever it is you have lying around and I've just tied the uh, cloth around my fingers because it would make it a lot easier to apply because I was finding the wax was getting caught in the creases and it was hard to apply it smoothly before so here we go I'm going to apply this again you know quite thin layers just vertical lines down and see how it goes so far so good It's actually really nice, I quite like how it's making the colours a bit richer. It's definitely not making them dark to the point that it's losing the difference between the values. I feel like it's darkening them pretty evenly with each other, so it's not too bad. All right, so this is like half and half, I guess. So, I don't know if you can see that. But you can very, very slightly see the color change if I tilt it towards the camera. It's really slight, I mean, it's it's not something that I would really be too fussed about. Um, I guess if you're working completely in pastel colors, this might be a bit more noticeable. noticeable. Uh, so, definitely worth trying out on a test piece before going on to any of your actual finished pieces but so far I'm pretty impressed almost done it's quite easy to apply as well it really just slides off the cloth and honestly this little finger split makes it so much easier because you're just getting a really even application whereas before when I was using just a folded up corner I just felt like I was getting more on some areas and less on others and it wasn't very consistently applied so this is really good last bit now cool okay that's it it's done i don't think it really looks any different to be honest i was a bit nervous uh, so i don't know if you can see that it's got a very very slight shine to it now. It's like a really soft satin finish, but when you're looking at the painting head on or even, you know, most angles, it, you really can't tell that it's got any shiny texture over it. It's really nice. It still looks like the kind of matte effect that I really like 
that gouache has because I'm not a big fan of the shininess of acrylic really. It's very, I find it quite distracting. So let's leave this to dry and I'll come back in 20 minutes and try splashing some water on it and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so it's time to apply some water and see if my painting survives. I'm just putting some on my finger here and just splashing it on. And it looks like it's actually working really well. I'm really impressed by that. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's just, again, like loads of small droplets are just sitting on the page. Like none of the paint's really getting reactivated. It's really great. I'll just give it a big old splash. You guys can see there's just some droplets kind of running off the page. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy with that. I think it's pretty much all you can ask for. And really, like now that I've left, left it to dry, I'm not really noticing any loss of the colours, kind of vibrancy or anything like that. I really feel like, if anything, it's bringing out the vibrancy of the colours that they were when they came out of the tube. So there you have it. That was my little test. And as you can see, it's gone really, really well. My finished piece has also turned out really well with the wax. I think, personally, the fact that it darkens the values ever so slightly is very unnoticeable once it's dried. It's definitely, when you're painting it on, I feel like you can notice it a lot more because you were just looking at your piece with maybe the more pastel or like lightened colors that it had before. And the values definitely do get darkened, but I like how that seems to increase the depth of the paint and it brings it back to the colors that the gouache had when it came out of the tube, um, which is something that I, I always find I have to compromise with when I'm using gouache is that the colors that I'm painting as I'm painting them, I always have to be aware that they're probably going to be um, slightly different when they dry because of the fact that they are water soluble. So I really like the fact that Outcome has made the colors richer. It's also got a really nice finish to it. I feel like the, the painting still looks like a gouache painting. It's still got the same matte texture. There's a very, very subtle satin texture to it, but I feel like you're only really going to notice that if it's on quite a strong light. Um, I certainly don't notice it when I'm looking at my piece um, head on. And I think when you're looking at it, even from a few other angles, it's not hugely noticeable. It does say on this to use a few layers, but I only used one layer and as you could see it seemed to be pretty protective from splashing water everywhere so I think it's been a pretty successful test. I would definitely recommend this product for anyone who's looking to capture their gouache and seal it in a way that's not going to ruin the original texture and feel of the paint and uh, I will put a link below where you can purchase yours. I believe you can buy it from Amazon as well as um, from Jackson's and I'm sure there's plenty of other places that you can purchase it but I personally bought mine from Jackson's art store just because it was a bit cheaper and you could get like a bulk buy and you know if you're doing a lot of pieces it's quite useful. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up or leave a comment in the section below. If you'd like to see more from me, be sure to hit the notification bell to subscribe to my channel. And hopefully you'll be seeing me soon for some more tutorials, tips and tricks, and just so I can share my art journey with you and show you how I've created some of my favorite pieces. Have a great day and see you next time. Bye.